so let's take a closer look at what we kind of get in the package here. So this is the box, you know, these are the, you know, headphones, everything's packaged in a pretty nice box. You know, around the back, you can kind of see some of the overview of the features here, you know. Um, you got pretty lush ear cups, you got the bass boost button, which I'll cover later. Um, it's ported so that you get really solid, punchy bass out of it. 20 hours of playtime, 40 millimeter drivers, all that stuff. There's NFC Bluetooth and then an app available. So, you know, kind of the stuff you expect. Without further ado, let's get right into this package here. So, you know, these usually retail for about 200, but there's usually a lot of good sales on these. So I would definitely keep an eye out for these at something like Best Buy or B&H because like I said, you can get some really good deals on them. During Black Friday, they were down to about $80, which is crazy for these headphones. So let's see if we open up this flap here. We're greeted with this black package. So you just grab it by the side here. So this is kind of your accessories stuff. Let's see what do we have in here. All right, so we got a micro USB charging cable. Pretty good. Like, you know, just to charge up the headphones. A 3.5 millimeter kind of aux cable that connects to the headphones so that if you don't have power in the headphones, like if the battery dies, you can just connect it via a regular, you know, auxiliary cable, which is good. I like that as a backup. And then just a bunch of literature that I don't think you'll ever really need. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's just a few buttons, a few switches. They're all labeled really well. Um, so, you know, I don't think we really need that. Put that off to the side there. So that's it that's in this package, relatively easy. And then down here we're greeted by the headphones. So they're in this nice kind of styrofoam almost package that keeps them really um, secure. And right off the bat, they do have a good weight to them, but they're not too heavy. Um, there's a mix of plastic and metal. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more metal, especially on these hinges here, because I know that other headphones that have swivel style like that um, are known to break there if they have plastic, so that might be something to watch out for. Um, but yeah, these are actually really good looking. They have, have almost like a dual tone finish on them where it's a little bit more purple and blue. It's nice. It's really cool. Um, so you can see here there's the NFC pairing um, spot there. You can tap your phone to it and pair it without having to go through settings. Then down here you got volume up and down so you can just you know adjust the volume then you have your track buttons so there's back uh, press to play and pause and then forward if you just slide that forward um, and then if you press and hold it'll redial the last call then around on this ear cup you have the microphone for calls you have your input so you can plug in this auxiliary cable into there now you have wired headphones pretty nice and then you have your charging port micro USB pretty standard and then this is kind of one of the better features about these headphones is this built-in bass boost button here. So essentially, if your uh, you know music doesn't have a lot of bass to it, you can press this bass boost button and it applies an equalizer to kind of amplify the lower notes of the song and you know give you a better listening experience. And then you have your power button, which is also the pairing button. So if you press and hold that for, I believe it's five seconds, then it'll go into pairing mode. And then you can connect it to your you know device so these do feel like actually like real leather it's pretty impressive how premium they do feel um, like I said they're not actually that heavy which is impressive for their battery life um, they claim about 20 hours but um, I've used these before and they've really I haven't had to actually really charge them up at all my phone still says that they're at about you know 50 to 70 percent um, so the battery lasts a really long time, which is great with these. So, you know, fully adjustable, plenty of, uh, you know, I don't know if anyone has a head that big, but it accommodates it, which is nice. Like I said, it can fold sideways to stow in a bag. Um, I would have liked to have seen some sort of a case with them because they are a little bit oddly shaped, so it might be a little bit difficult to fit in some bags, but, um, you know, you could probably find a case to fit them on like eBay or Amazon or something like that. So that's not a big deal. But um, yeah, these do feel really nice. I do like how they're built. Um, like I said, these ear cups are really, really lush, which is great because I imagine that for long listening times, it's gonna do a really good job with that, especially since it's got the padded, you know, um, top up here that'll help it rest in your head a little bit better. The functions built into these headphones is really genius. NFC pairing spot, 
the auxiliary cable if the headphones die, the bass boost button, the comfy ear cushions, everything is just really well thought out and really well implemented into the final package. That's why I would really recommend these headphones to anyone looking for headphones on a budget because they can usually be found under $80. The value is just something you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll leave some links in the description below if I've found some prices that are pretty reasonable so you guys can check them out. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, just drop a like while you're down there. It really helps. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.